beating the hard AI in any digital port of a board game is pretty impressive. You have to be at a certain level of play, and I feel like I'm really getting there, but I'd love to get your help here on Legendary Tactics. I'm a fairly seasoned Star Realms player, and I found that, uh, you know, this game has enough in common that I'm able to, in many cases, you know, like I was, I picked up the game quite quickly. There's a lot that is similar, but the differences are proving to be, um, you know, difficult, uh, you know, a little bit for me. Um, so I'd love to get your thoughts. If you have any ideas on how I might have improved my game here today, um, that would be great. You can uh, feel free to, uh, to join the conversation uh, in the comments section below. Um, and my goal in this game is I'm up against the hard AI um, and I'm going basically for a wraith uh, undergrowth combination um, <clears throat> in general. Now, I will get some things like the Corvus Legionnaire there. There's certain cards that I find um, what's kind of interesting about, you know, certain cards in this game is um, they add a lot of value and they're not necessarily tied to their faction. So, you know, for example, the, um, you know, Cryptofist Monk, for example. Uh, yes, it's, it's, an, it's an order ally. Um, it's, it's definitely valuable in any sort of order combos that are going on. Um, however, uh, it's not a bad purchase for any faction, really, because it does provide that eight shield. There really is, and, and the card draw, it doesn't really have a downside to it. So it's interesting, like there are a lot of combinations and at the same time, um, there are a lot of cards which kind of float in, in neutral territory. Um, but my general strategy here is going to be uh, Undergrowth and Wraith. I'll see if I can make that work. Um, and what I've learned from the playing against the hard AIs I have over the last few weeks, <clears throat> they the hard AI loves card draw. It seems to be the one thing they, that it really prioritizes. And uh, so I've been trying to kind of pay attention to that. And so, you know, if you get the, you know, a target uh, card might be the Data Heretic. Now he's going to actually uh, draft that card. And, and um, they, I've noticed as well, the Hard AI uses a lot of mercenaries. And I'm, <clears throat> I'm still leaning towards, you know, recruiting every card that I, that I get. And so uh, they, my play style seems to be evolving in that direction. I'm, I'm, I haven't really focused a ton on mastery. Um, this game and I find that it's it's a tough um, thing to really spend a lot of time on um, as you can see I'm recruiting more undergrowth there um, and time and money on on uh, on building up focus you know it's it's an interesting um, thing because obviously you boost your cards and it can be extremely valuable but I just find there's just never enough crystals uh, in order to do that and in this game uh, I realized pretty early on, I'm just going to see if I can, you know, grab a quick win here because his mastery is getting quite high. Um, I still had a lot of health, but I've played many games where it, uh, you know, you're in decent health and the, the your opponent's uh, pretty weak, but a few heals, a few shields at key moments, and suddenly um, they're back in the game, especially if they've got a, a killer combo uh, turn. So... You know, I'm, uh, and I'd like to get rid of the, the champions if I can, and I've got them on the ropes here. So this is a, a pretty good uh, opportunity here. Um, so that's just, you know, just my overall focus. Pick one main color, have a secondary color that you're also building, and look for cards that are uh, sort of neutral, um, that, you know, don't depend on other uh, allies being played that turn or, uh, you know, just have some sort of bonus, like a lot of the Homo Deus uh, cards require champions, uh, specifically Homo Deus champions to have been played. So it's kind of, those those um, strategies obviously work very well together. So I, I zipped through, I beat the hard AI. This is actually one of the first times, I, I think I've beaten them once or twice before. Um, but it was a quick win, I was going for that. And I think Wraith is, is strong in that area. Uh, you know, if you're going for that quick win and I, and, uh, undergrowth is not a bad backup either. So I find those two colors work well, but I'd love to get your thoughts. Uh, this is just a quick game just to, uh, show you maybe how to beat the hard AI. 
and I'd love to get you know any input that you have. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Nato with Legendary Tactics.